What's up, what's up, everybody? Orion here coming at you guys with a product review and box opening on this XDM 100 by Rode. We finally got a new mic here, and popping up on the screen, we have tons of photos of my mic being smashed in, as you guys know, from being in a reactor. And the heavy music that we listened to, we completely destroyed our mic. It still works. We're still using it right now. Just want to give a big shout out to Elaine Sunpai over here. I've seen some of her videos, her photos on Instagram, being a great influencer that she is. Apple bottom jeans. Boots with a fur. The whole club was looking good. <laughs> And honestly, it sounds like this mic is gonna be perfect for my little setup here in our condo. It's got some really cool things. I know this is really geared towards gamers and streamers. We do stream, we do listen to music and react to stuff on stream from you guys. If you guys don't know who I am, I am Orion Reacts. I react to metal music on YouTube. TikTok, and Instagram Reels. Drop some of those follows down in the description below. Would love to see you. And if you're looking for some brand new metal music, we got you covered. So without further ado, no, that didn't work. So without further ado, let's fucking get into her buds. Am I gonna have to bleep that out? I mean, I wanna monetize this. <laughs> I've been holding out on this. Came in yesterday, very excited, nice big, Red box. That's what I like. Big old red over here. Ooh, nice and slick over here with the black and red. Turn it over this way. So you guys can see the first opening up of this. It smells really good already. It smells brand new. All right, maybe that's not a good idea. I mean, you can see it from over here. Perfect. Let's go. Oh, we got some steps in here. Now, this microphone actually comes with some software called Unified from Rode. It's basically your interface for this microphone. I hear there's a little bit of like a microchip inside of this microphone and it can run with this program, changing your compression, some of your audio levels, your EQ and everything. So I'm really excited to actually do that because with my space on my desk and my budget for microphones, this is another reason why I want to pick this up. So I can do everything on the computer, not have this big giant board on my table and actually be able to channel other audio streams within my recordings. First one we got, X marks the spot. What do we got in this one? It's like a dice. We got ourselves a headphone jack. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, it's a nice little puffy. Shit's gonna be flying. Windscreen. All right, we're gonna be looking into that because this thing is massive on this bad boy. But this thing is actually a pretty good size. All right, cool. We're gonna save the microphone for last, but again, very limited space. We got the USB-C over here. Looks like it's nice and long. I believe it's a six footer. Let's toss that box over here. Uh, we need our handy dandy knife. Are you guys box savers, by the way? <laughs> I'm definitely one of those people that like jams a bunch of boxes of things that I bought, like my PlayStation box, my computer box. It's all up in a closet somewhere, but I don't have that here. They're actually all in storage here. Uh, okay, sweet. We got, what the fuck is this called again? We got the shock mount over here, which is pretty nice. Nice and sturdy, nice and heavy. Way better than this one. I mean, I like the red string on this HyperX one that I have been using, but it's not actually connected on a proper arm bar or anything to be holding my microphone. So this is actually pretty nice. It's a little bit bigger, but that's all right. That's all right. And then we got the microphone. Oh yeah. Now this thing's pretty heavy. Now I gotta lie, when I pulled up this box, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here with the, the arm bar, the microphone, and the headset, it's a lot. So this thing is massive. Nice and heavy, nice and slick. First look at it, I really like it. It actually looks like the Podcaster, Podcaster Pro, I believe is what it is, one of the two. Uh, but this, is, this thing looks nice. Nice and slick, elegant, the red, hints in there, even inside the grill as well. 
I mean, the nice outer ring looks really nice, and then the puffy goes on top of it, and I believe it has one of those lights on there to indicate whether it's on, muted, or not. Uh, but that's actually nice. It actually shows up as well through there. It's got like a little bit of a clear spot. I honestly can't wait to put this to the test. So without further ado, let's get into that part. All right, before we actually do that part, I forgot we had other shit to open up, but we got the NTH100 headphones. This is very nice. I've been using the Audio-Technica for quite some time, and honestly, I just told Emo Queen this. Uh, <laughs> my, my one set of headphones that I have over at the side here, um, one of the ears actually just went on them, so I've been using hers without her knowing. <laughs> she hasn't been using them, so... I'm glad that this came in because I got myself a new set of headphones. But uh, very nice, slick looking so far. Um, let's open her up. Oh, I forgot the the road logo is actually kind of like the Orion logo that we use with the O crossed out. It almost feels like it's custom for me, if you will. But this is nice. We got a little case in here. All right. Nice headphone jack. Oh. Uh, smells so new. Then we got some uh, adapters as well and these little ringer things here. I don't know what those are for, but let's see what they got in this box. It feels like Christmas right now. Oh, these are nice. I love this. The, they got the O's around the outside of it. It looks nice and slick. It almost looks like it's meant to be for me in our channel. Uh, nice little, uh, cooling, I think that's what I read on the box before I actually started opening this. It's got, like, these really cool cooling pads that actually go over ear, and these interlocked, uh, adjusters as well that you can actually adjust where your head wants to be. Nice little case for this as well. Plug these bad boys in and see what they sound like with this mic. Not the road, Not the XDM100 yet. Oh, this is cool. Does it actually screw in, too? Is that the right hole? That's what she said. I mean, there's two holes, so... That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I know what's going on here. That's for the audio head jack, that's why. Is there a switch for this? Is it in the right hole? Oh, I see. It's even got a little locker thing in there. Okay, cool. Hello? Hello? Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, not too bad. Honestly, I kind of like the other ones a little bit better, just maybe because I'm so used to them, but it might actually sound way better with the actual microphone that it's meant for. But let's give it a little bit of an adjust, lock those bad boys in place. I mean, they they are cool though. They they feel really nice and cool. Um, little headbang test. I mean, they stay on pretty well. Actually, yeah, they kind of feel really nice. All right, cool. Snug, but not tight. All right, let's open up this bad boy. I'm really excited for this one. Uh, the PSA One Plus. This thing feels heavy duty, uh, especially compared to this nonsense of a thing that I have here. Um, let's open her up, shall we? Oh, I like how thick that cord is, though. Oh, is that another sleeve? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I totally opened this up wrong, didn't I? Hold on. I opened it up upside down. Here, let's give that grand reveal. It smells so new. It's so nice. Oh! I mean, the other way was more fun because there's I could see more shit at once. Let's go. This is badass. Not gonna lie. Nice and heavy duty. Like really heavy duty. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's got a little condom on it as well. Oh, that almost went right through my fucking computer screen. Yeah, this is nice and heavy duty. Let's go. I can't wait to hook this up. So it looks like there's, uh, you can actually like, if you have like one of those desks that have the holes in it, you can actually put this little bad boy in there and uh, it can actually work that way, which I thought was really cool. I think that's what it was. I think I've seen that like on other reviews. 
I'm afraid to let this thing go because I think it's gonna go wild and just break something. Um. Boom. Oh, this is a heavy duty one. This is not. So mine was originally like this that <laughs> it was just not good. <laughs> it was like a hundred dollar. I don't even think it was that much. It was probably like 50 bucks or something like that. And it just wasn't that good. But I believe you can actually like put this on with this somehow. And uh, or maybe it connects to the actual rod itself. Anyways. That kind of concludes our box opening. Let me go hook this up, play around with it for a minute, and I'll let you guys know how it actually turns out and what it does. All right, check it out. We're back, and I've had some time to kind of play with this microphone stuff. The headset I had to get really used to, but I have a bunch of stuff in the back that I need to review as well. I was not expecting another drop from Rode. They hooked us up with this nice sweater, some nice, uh, this very nice hat. I really like it. The nice little stitching on the side here, but I finally was able to play around with this and uh, give it a go. I really wanted to like just test it, uh, play with it a little bit, uh, get used to the interface that we have here with Unified on this uh, microphone. So for me and why I really wanted to test out and check out this microphone is for one, I run it off of a laptop. Now it has a USB-C uh, import in here. It hooked up fine. Um, other than that, like it's got this uh, mixer thing. And I thought this was really cool when I was reading up some of the reviews, some other YouTube videos as well. I was very intrigued with it for the style and how much, you know, work I can actually do with my laptop. Now I have another screen here as well. It gives me a little bit of more space. Wish I had way more screens for everything that I do, but I am a metal reaction channel. So I just react to music. This, I really wanted that podcast sounding sound. When I do talk into the microphone, I want it nice and crisp, nice and thick. Thick. But I also do some live streams as well. And I had a little bit of issues, not even so much issues. I think it's just this this microphone setup is not the plug and play kind of thing. Uh, I, I, I've opened uh, Unify over here. I've tested some of the stuff out here. I tried to hook up some of the, the I guess, the sliders, essentially, to everything that I really wanted to use when I was streaming, and I really couldn't get it figured out. I mean, I'm kind of like an ADHD kind of kid as well, where I'm like, yo, I, I fuck it. Uh, uh, it plugs in. I can hear myself. I'll figure it out in post. Um, so I really wish I kind of took a little bit more time just to figure that out, all the sliders and stuff. There are some great videos out there and shout out to this guy over here for helping me out. I remember when I first got this, uh, mic, I couldn't get some things working for some reason. And there's so many drop downs and everything on this mic or, or on this, uh, unified program that you can actually, you know, change things. You know, you can have a stream setting, a headphone setting, chat for like Discord and stuff, a recording setting and uh, stuff coming out of your monitor as well. So there's a lot of cool things on it. I haven't really had a chance to like really dive down in it. Uh, my workflow when I do my stuff is bonkers. I don't have a lot of time to actually sit down and do it, but I'm making some time this week to review a lot of these other products that I have here, which are going to be implementing which I'm going to be implementing these into my content. So a lot of cool things that I have coming up for you guys for so all my regular viewers that are checking out this video and just having fun just seeing what I'm doing with this. There's going to be some cool content that I have lined up and uh, I just can't wait to share it. So I do have a proper mic and um, the podcaster pro I believe mixer over there that I'm going to be testing out with the with the podcaster mic as well. So there's a bunch of stuff there. We got another arm as well. So hopefully this mic can be used with my girlfriend when and maybe make some other content. I would love to have emo queen on here doing some either podcasts, some talks and stuff like that. But even just jumping on stream with us would be fucking sick as well. But yeah, other than that, a full review. Well, I mean, this isn't really going to be a full review. I'm just going to say like how I've been enjoying this microphone as I guess a very beginner style person when it comes to microphones. Um, but I came off of the, uh, the hyper X, which was very plug and play go to go do what it needs to do. It's got like four little settings on the back of it, which was great. Worked a lot. And I've smashed that mic so many times when there's a big breakdown and a heavy song that comes on, I was smashing that mic. It had a lot of good, strength to that thing. I'm, I, I kid you not. It was really good for the price of it. 
Um, but Rode actually hit me up and asked me to uh, check out some of their mics as well. Um, but yeah, this is nice. I really like it. I love the cage that's on there. They did send me another cage to go with the other microphone as well. But there's a couple cool features that I like about this microphone. For one, nice, sleek design on here. Uh, it comes with this little foam uh, silicone as well. Uh, my, or sorry, uh, puff, poof, whatever you want to call it. Spit catcher is what I usually call it when I'm in the studios. Now that I'm not in studios anymore. Um, but the, the cords and everything that it came with, very nice and uh, a very professional grade. I'm used to the ones that just that you get from the dollar store. So um, other than that, it sounds nice. It's got like this little game button thing on the back. It's got a mute button quickly. And um, yeah, it's got a little light on the front. You can put wherever on here to, to notice if you're if you need to do like a quick mute or anything. Uh, other than that, a little bit of the flaws about this design, and I think I've seen this a lot with some of the videos that I have checked out, is that their cords. Uh, I wish their cords were a little bit at least L-shaped, but it comes off of the bottom here. Oh, hold on, I can't really see myself here. But yeah, it comes off of the bottom, and it, it has to bend already. So like, I hope that doesn't break or like, you know, go move the mic down or something like that, and it smashes into something. Uh, and then kind of breaks, but just to feed it through and just hide it out of sight here. Like even this mic here, I feel like I have to like kind of like wrap it or like get a zip tie or something just to <laughs> kind of close it down. But even this arm as well, it's got like these little clips on here, the little soft pad, which I thought was kind of cool. I wish you can kind of take it off. Uh, there's one thing as much as like, I'm so like pumped up that, you know, road sent me out some stuff. Um, I, I don't want road plastered all over my stuff as much as I brand my own stuff too. I tried putting a sticker <laughs> over top of it and it just wouldn't stick to it. Uh, at least the ones that I had. So, I mean, I could cut it off and stuff, but I do like these little clips on here. So if there's anything, uh, this arm bar is actually really nice. I have a really cheap shitty one and it's literally, oh, it's a hat holder today, but literally like it's a mic stand and it's all taped up at the top just to hold it in place and yeah it's not the best it's loud it does it you know whenever you move it it kind of like does i kind of thing but i was rocking that for the longest time and it worked for what i needed to uh, i'll put up a photo as well my whole setup i don't have a big setup here so this just attaching to my uh desk is amazing honestly it, it I, you know, give it some time. It might loosen up a bit. You might have to tighten it up, which it does have some quick, easy spots to tighten that kind of stuff up. But yeah, other than that, like even uh, the back of this, I, I just wish the the cable management kind of thing. I feel like a lot of people would be a little bit more upset about that. Um, but I guess the podcaster mic as well comes out the bottom and then you would have to feed it through as well. So I mean, I like color and stuff. I might get another one just to have a little bit of color on here. But other than that, uh, it's a very good mic. I like it. I like the way it sounds. Um, I do a lot of work in post as well, but I don't use Unified to record. So as I was saying, when I did have Unified up, I was having a little bit of trouble figuring all that stuff out. Maybe if I took some more time or if you guys are a little bit more into diving down on that stuff, I put out a lot of content. So. I just didn't have time to like dive down. I was watching videos at night, tried to figure it out. But yeah, big shout out to that guy uh, that I mentioned earlier. Also, another quick shout out to Tank the Tech and Aileen Senpai for uh, introducing me to these microphones. I know these guys got a little bit of a package from them and did a little bit of review, some photos and stuff like that. So I just wanted to say a big thanks to these guys for actually, uh, you know, just getting me intrigued with this item. Um, but yeah, other than that, the headphones, I think uh, they're a little bit different. Usually what I'm using is the uh, the Audio Technicas, which uh, these were great. These are like probably like two or three hundred bucks at the time. Uh, they are a little worn out. But other than that, actually, I think it was like a couple of days before I actually got this mic that it died. Uh, one of the headphones is like not working, so I got to figure it out. I have another set too. my girlfriend's got a set. And I was using that for the last couple of days, but then they sent these ones and then they sent another pair as well. Uh, other than that, it's very loud, very gainy. Um, it might be really good for gameplay. 
Uh, I, I know there's a lot of people out here that probably will be using this stuff for game stuff. Me as a reactor listening to music. I mean, everybody listens to music. It does sound good, but it sounds very different from what I'm used to. So once I get the use of that, it probably will sound pretty good. Um, but other than that, like I wish there's, I knew a little bit more about Unified to control those volumes because I wish it was a little bit louder. But when I put the louderness on, on the microphone with the knob, everything else goes loud as well. So other than that, these headphones are actually pretty slick. For one, like the O's on the back of it. My I started off with my my logo with that. And I'm like, hold I got confused. I'm like, oh my God, did they just actually like engrave this for me type deal? They didn't. It's just road. And I was just too excited to figure that out. But a couple features that I really love about this that I wish other microphones would implement and have for their headphones. Um, is for one, their 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 headset uh, cable. You can actually put it in and twist it, and it will actually lock. I think that's fantastic, first and foremost. When I'm moving around and a nice breakdown comes up, I like to move. I like to dance, get up, throw down, and all that stuff. So if this was to catch on something, it's not going to get unplugged, which has happened many times for me. And it's got a nice long cable for me to like kind of bounce around in the back too. So as for me as a reactor, when I'm getting up and doing these things, I wish they were all wireless and I can hear everything with no latency, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. Uh, but also these little locking mechanisms as well. These things will actually turn and you can actually adjust your headphones accordingly to your fat head. For me, it's great because I do wear uh, these uh, toques. And I also wear like a lot of my my uh, stuff on here. And I have a bunch of toques as well. So other than that, yeah, full review. I think they're really good uh, for the price. If you're buying this microphone for the little mixer thing. I don't know if it's really necessary. I know you can buy that for like five bucks a month to use otherwise, but it does work uh, with something very special and the chips and stuff that are in these mics. There's this one and there's a little smaller box one as well. That uh, is a little bit of a different mic. It just picks up a little bit more sound. This one is just more defining more. You have to talk into it or put your face right up against it. Kind of like that podcast style mic. Um, me, I don't really know the difference and I feel like that's more of the the, the sound engineer people that are out there from an XLR to a USB um, for me and a USB. I didn't want to have a big chunky podcaster thing on my desk. Cause one, you saw my photo of my microphone or sorry, my, my desk setup. I don't have a lot of space. I live in a 750 square foot apartment. This is my living room, bedroom, closet, and then literally the other half that's not even bigger than this side is my kitchen, bathroom and laundry room in a little tiny dining room. So, yeah, it's a, it's very small. Other than that, yeah, like I think uh, this would be ideal. And that's why I was very attracted to that. So I can have, you know, this mixer on here, but it does have some cool features. I definitely want to check it out. But now that I have that mixer, the podcaster, I don't think I'm going to be needing it. And I believe I can hook this mic up to that mixer with the USB C's. I checked that out before I even opened it, which we're going to be doing an unboxing on that stuff and quick reviews on that as well. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. I'll give you my full honest reviews on this and uh, what I think. And I, I just, that's another thing about being a reaction channel. I mean, like I, I love my microphones. I love sound. My, my videos and everything are very well edited and it took some time to craft that stuff. So going to take a little bit to craft some of the sound in that but other than that like i've been using another usb mic i thought this would be a great touch and for the average pe person i think it can work y you can definitely like plug it in and it'll work just fine it's just that you're gonna have to take some time a few hours i think just to set up unified i still haven't set it up i got it to work and stuff like that pretty easy but i had a little bit of problems just know that in some of the drop downs like where it says like headphone streams at the bottom bar there there is a headphone set and it says mute headphone output that you need to if you want to hear yourself and actually uh i think it actually mutes too but there's a you have to like set up a lot of the stuff in your system on windows so yeah and this doesn't work with mac is from what i'm hearing i don't know if that's going to change in the future but how many people th this mic is geared for streaming and gamers so for me 
it, it doesn't really matter. I like control. I'm already used to controlling stuff on its own anyway. And when I have like a, a, a music video that I'm doing a reaction to, sometimes it's way too loud at the beginning. So I just have YouTube right then and there. I don't have time to find unified on my small amount of space here and actually find that slider and put it down already. So, uh, for, so yeah, for that, I, I, I like it for that reason. It still sounds really good. Sounds crisp. Uh, but there are some things that would definitely change. But now that I have the podcaster over there with the uh, podcaster pro deck, I'm going to test that out, do some videos on it and uh, really see if there's a difference in that. I like hearing myself. So that's a plus that you can definitely do. It has those uh, headphone tracks right into it. So you can hear yourself in the in these microphones. That was a big thing for me. I know a lot of people when I was doing reviews, they didn't care to have that, which I really like in like hearing myself and hearing what I sound like, because I have had a couple problems with this. Either starting up my computer, it sounded fluttery. Maybe it, there's a lot of like dry air in, in my house here. So, so like when I get out of my chair, I get shocked. So sometimes that will like kind of like do something to the microphone. It did a lot with the other mic. It would go Bee! even if I unplugged uh, the microphone or something like that, or sorry, the headset, it would do something like that. And uh, so I, I don't know if it's kind of doing that just because that reason, but I've had some times where like I've talked in the mic and it was over distorted. I couldn't figure it out. I closed the program, reopened it. And every time that I would unplug this, it would reset all my settings on windows. So I would kind of have to like, shut down the computer and start it back up once or twice. I mean, it's only happened a couple of times within a week in a week and a half that I've been testing this thing out with. But those are just kind of some of the other uh, things that I had. I dropped down a couple here. I don't know if I talked about them. <laughs> one extra one here is this cage sucks. So when I'm doing my thumbnails and everything, having these little bars in here really sucks to have in and cropping everything out when you're making thumbnails for YouTube. So if you're on YouTube and doing all that stuff, that kind of sucks a lot. Same with the headphones. Um, I, that's why I like my other ones. They're very simple. Uh, I don't have to crop out a lot of it. Time management for me for sure is definitely uh, the, the thing there. Um, other than that, um, reaction content versus like, I guess like gamer content. It's a nice mic for that. I really do. I think this would definitely be nice for gamers. Um, I don't really do a get a lot of game stuff on Twitch or streaming, uh, but I used to back in the day and I would have really enjoyed this microphone for that reason. For sure. I love how it sounds. I love how I can hear myself. And then with this program, you can manage the sound for what the stream hears. You can manage the chat and discord of what the stream hears and what you hear. So there's a lot of cool things. If you're into that kind of like in-depth uh, stuff, to have control of kind of like a soundboard, then that's de this might be for you. It just takes a bit to learn. Um, but yeah, and I already talked about the thing that kind of goes uh, all fluttery when I'm talking and that. So yeah, those are my kind of pros and cons about this mic. Uh, let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you have one of these microphones, what you enjoy about it um, and what kind of system that you're running right now. I mean, like there's all kinds of different ones. Uh, the, the, the microphones, I think there's a podcaster pro now too. pro two. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know a lot about road and all their microphones. I just know the ones that I was like, just knew that I was getting me getting. So yeah, I, I'm so pumped to check that out. See how user friendly this, this board is because I'm looking at this and I'm like, Oh my God, maybe sliders is just what I need. So I got to clean up my desk. That's another thing. So I got to organize it in a way that I can have the slider nice and easy at my disposal here and to be using that uh, more on a regular basis and for podcast reasons too. I might test this one out for podcasts, but I think it's going to do very well. It's mimicked after the podcaster pro. It looks identical right down to the screw thing at the bottom of it. This just doesn't have the little plugs and stuff on it. And that's about it. But I'll be using this on there just because I do like the little puffiness. Um, but I'll see what the difference is on there. There, there isn't uh, too much of a difference. I mean, I like it like this, but when you're saying your P's and butts and your S's, just really emphasizing that, you can kind of hear that. So with the spit catcher here, it definitely helps for that reason. So you can put anything you want, pop in pillies, whatever. 
it catches a lot of that wind sound. So that's what definitely helps for me uh, and probably why I'll still use it. But I really do like the design of this. I really like the red accent. Uh, the light is a little bit bright as well when I am filming. Uh, I don't know if you can see it right now, but uh, sometimes like, yeah, when I'm when I am getting into it, like when I'm going and do my music stuff, the light does reflect off of my glasses. So for this reason, I do like the puffy for that. But other than that, if you want to talk to it off to the side, this is kind of what it sounds like talking directly into it, which is more ideal. But I mean, I, I got this to a certain spot. And for myself, the angle that I have everything on here, I wear my stuff that has, uh, you know, my own branded clothing. So usually it's great across the front here. And usually I tuck in my 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 strings here but this is why i like this the other one that i had would literally like be like here and like cut off half the shit that i had so with this mic stand it definitely helps for that reason you can't hear anything i don't think for all that and uh just another quick note as well with unified you can actually control uh, a lot of your settings here it's got like a noise gate setting uh compressor uh an exciter and a big bottom, which I thought was really cool too. You can change the high uh, pass filter too, which uh, I, I mean, I played around with. I do a lot of the stuff in post anyway, and I have these presetting things with uh, Premiere when I do my post editing videos. Um, but a lot of the stuff you can and you probably already have done on OBS or whatever you're using to uh, stream out yourself live. So, I mean, it is nice. It's just a little bit of a, an extra thing for you guys. If you're using it for other things or just recording right off of this, it's kind of already built in. I wish I had a little bit more, uh, but for a little bit of like how direct this mic is and how clear it is, my lights are going off right now. Sometimes my AC unit goes off. The noise gate on there actually blocks out a lot of that sound. Usually with the other mic that I had, it would pick up a lot of that and I would have background sound during my videos just because of that reason. So, I mean, it was really good for that. Uh, that's why I like this mic too. I can have a dead space and you won't hear anything. It just cuts out all that sound. So, yeah. Anyway, that's kind of my review on it. I knew I had to get this uh, kind of up and running and done, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit of a long one. I had fun with it. I had fun opening this stuff and I can't wait to be opening up those other uh, packages back there. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you liked everything, let me know down in the comments. I don't expect you to subscribe as uh, this isn't my regular content, but I would love to do more. So maybe put it on. If you like heavy music, we definitely do some reactions reactions to that and I can show you some bands. But if you're one of those regular viewers that came and stayed to the end, thank you so much for just even sticking around. I know this one's a long one, but I put some work into it and plan to be doing a lot of cool things with these microphones, putting out some new content for you guys and just uh, see where the wind takes us. I think this is really cool. Big shout out to Rode. Thank you so much. Aileen Sunpai and Tank the Tech as well. You guys have really inspired me with the uh, the Rode shit. Thank you so much, guys. And until next time, toodaloo, motherfuckers. Toodaloo.